An Animal Cell is Like a Castle by Mr. Columbo. Read and recorded by Mr. Columbo. <laughs> hear ye, oh hear ye, our king has made a new royal decree. An animal cell is a lot like one of his castles, you see. And speaking of our king, he commands everything in his castle, you know. When he says the castle needs new walls, all that is asked is, how high should they go? In his throne room, he keeps only the finest treasures in the land. His riches are the source of his power and wisdom, he says. And because of this, they must always and forever be on hand. He is like the nucleus. It too controls every last noble organelle. It makes sure that all jobs are done right by each and every part of the animal cell. It can do this because it contains information called DNA. This is true. And just like our king, the nucleus keeps this treasure locked up, but always in view. Next to our king, as always, are his loyal knights, of course. They protect the castle with their bravery and their swords. They do this by slicing all unwelcome intruders into fourths. And when it comes to fighting back against unfriendly invaders in an animal cell, the chivalrous lysosome is the organelle that steps up. It is no mere farmer. For when bacteria and viruses break in, or too much waste is around, the lysosomes are the heroes that cut these evils down. Not all knights dress in armor. But where do the knights get the tools for their duels? Those very things that separate them from the king's jesters and fools. The blacksmith is the molder. In the armory, the stroke of his mallet can be heard. It strikes the hot iron. It sings like a bird. After many long hours, the metal changes form. It cools, it stiffens, it becomes a new sword. Sheathed, razor sharp, cold steel reborn. In an animal cell, the Golgi body has no armor, no swords, not even shields or a spear. But like the blacksmith, it makes sure the cell gets all the right things. Have no fear. It has no need for a hammer, no special use of a grindstone. It can change, mold, and pack up proteins or lipids all on its own. It knows how to craft all the right forms, so the proteins and lipids can do many different chores. Sir Guard of the Drawbridge, we come bearing gifts in our tote. Please be so kind as to let down the door, for the green beasts I see swimming are far too frightful to pass in a boat. But said the guard to the merchant, We have seen your no-good lot here before, so you will stay on that side of the moat. It is our drawbridge's job to let only friends of the castle pass through its doors. Those who do harm, they make friends with the alligators. And the merchant, well, he picked up his cart and left in a haste. He knew what the guard's words meant on this day. Only friends are welcome. Enemies are not embraced. For the drawbridge is a protector, just like the cell membrane of an animal cell. These outer barriers can be crossed, but only if ye be safe, or else it is farewell. There is a second part to the king's decree. Now, it simply states that he must have more than one castle, you see. There are castles where the king lives, there are castles where no one lives, not even a serf. No one lives in these castles because there is no need. They only show the king's power, that he rules more than one turf. Animal cells are not very different from castles in this way too. There are many different types of cells, each with a different thing to do. One example are the white blood cells. Their job is to fight back when the human body is under attack. But there is a special white blood cell, called the natural killer cell. It has a special job. Just give me a second to tell. It destroys cells taken over by a hidden virus that is smart. Other white blood cells can't tell the difference, but the NKC can tell it apart. Not all animal cells are the same. This goes for castles too. An animal cell is like a castle.